Hi! In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a Serif web hosting account and upload your website. This is a website that I created in a previous tutorial. I now want to publish it to the web. On the File menu, I select Publish Site, then Publish to Web. As this is the first time that I've tried to publish my site, a new dialog is displayed. If I had an existing hosting account, either with Serif or with a third party, I would click Add Details, then enter my hosting details. However, as I don't have an existing account, I click Activate Now. I'm directed to the web hosting page on Serif.com. Here, I can set up a new hosting account. As I've never had a hosting account before, I can even get a 30-day free trial of the Silver Hosting Package. To get started, I click Set up a new hosting account. First of all, I need to log in to my Serif.com account. However, as I don't yet have an account, I can create one now. It's easy to do as I just complete the form and then click Continue. Once I've done this, I need to click the activation link in the email sent to the address I used in the form. Once I've clicked on the link, I'm directed to the web hosting account setup. My email address has already been completed for me, but I need to create a password and then confirm it. The next step is to create my domain prefix. I need to think about this carefully as this will be the name of my website and cannot be changed once I've created it. I can use underbars, hyphens or numbers in the prefix, but the key thing is to make it as easy as possible to remember. To ensure that I haven't made any spelling mistakes, I need to retype the domain prefix into the confirm box. Finally, I need to read the terms and conditions and agree to them before I click continue. This is my first Serif web hosting account, so I can take advantage of a free 30-day trial of the Silver package. I now need to add my payment details ready for when the trial period ends. Once these have been accepted, my web hosting account is ready to use. I can now see all of the details that I need to add into WebPlus. There are several ways to do this, but I find the easiest way is to use copy and paste. First, I will go back into WebPlus. The quickest way to do this is by holding the Alt key and then pressing Tab at the same time. As WebPlus was the last program I used, it is displayed. I can now begin to update my account details. First, I'll create an account name. This can be anything, but I'll keep it simple. Next, I need to add the FTP details. I press Alt Tab on the keyboard to go back to my web browser. Now, I can select the FTP address, right click to copy, and then Alt Tab again to go back to WebPlus. Then, I paste the address into the FTP address box. For most websites, the folder box is left blank. Next, I need to add the username. Again, I'll press Alt Tab on the keyboard to go back to my browser. Select and copy the username, and Alt Tab again back to WebPlus. Then I paste the username into the box. I now need to type in my password I created when I set up the hosting account. Finally, I'll add the URL for the website. Again, I Alt Tab back to the browser, select and copy the website URL, and Alt Tab back to WebPlus and paste it into the box. Notice that this address does not start with www, but uses the prefix that I created when I set up the web hosting account. To complete the setup, I click OK. Next, I can test the settings to make sure everything is working. 
before clicking Update Account to save the changes. I can now publish my site to my new domain. Because I added the website address to the dialog, I can view the URL as soon as the site upload is finished. My site is now live. If I make changes to the site and want to republish in the future, all of my web hosting account details have been remembered. Well, that's all for this tutorial. For more information, See the How To tab, Web Plus Help, or our other online tutorials. Thanks for watching.